So today we're going to be trying out a hardcore mod for Morrowind, which, look, I, I don't know how this is going to go. This is probably going to go horribly. I love mods that completely change how a game functions so you can just experience it in a whole different way. So this mod does a bunch of balancing changes to the game. So I'm just going to go over some of the changes from the game's mod page. Now there's a lot of changes, so I'm just going to read through the ones that are the most noteworthy, I think. So all the weapons in the game have been overhauled and their values have been changed. All the armors have been overhauled and their values have been changed. Morrowind has given me a black screen. There you go. Most of the NPCs have been made more powerful, including the guards. All fortify and drain attribute spells and effects have been removed from the game since they were highly exploitable. Self-made potion values have been cut in half. Daedric, Ebony and Dumber weapons don't drop as often, I think, as like uh, drops from enemies, so that's out the window. Quick travel costs have been increased, training costs have been increased. There is a crap ton of changes in this and it's... <laughs> we're gonna start off with a new character and we're gonna see how we do. I believe like enemies do more damage and I think we do more damage. I could be wrong about that but I think we do more damage to compensate it makes combat like that much more difficult when we're doing like equal damage to each other it just makes it a bit more realistic for this one I think what I'm gonna be is I'm going to be a Nord woman the Nord women are like one of the only races <laughs> I was just gonna say that the Nord women are like the only characters in this game that look kind of halfway decent and then <laughs> I was just given that fa what face is that I'm not picking that face oh uh, we're just gonna be a nice girl that's a nice head of hair any nice face any good face we can have that looks fine all right we'll go with that her name is Lizzie and she's a bit tin so she's tin Lizzie um let's go merchantile has been like revamped so items sell for a lot less you're not gonna get as much gold as you had before you can't sell any items to creeper or the mudcrab merchant they've just been completely like removed well they're still in the game but you just can't barter with them the smart thing for a hardcore run would be to make a mage so I'm just gonna make a warrior because it's all I know I'm just making it more hard on myself when I don't need to be I'm gonna take axe in case we need it blunt weapon fine I'm just going with a basic warrior build because it's, it's, it's just what I want to use. Does that sound all right? Are you okay with that? I hope you are. I want restoration as a major skill just so we have a healing spell right out of the bat. Other than that, I guess that's fine. I'm not too pushed with skills at the moment. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? I'm a Libra? No. <laughs> Most of these signs have been changed too. Fortify personality and speechcraft. Yeah, these have been changed. Generally for the better. Fortify health 20 points. Restore health. Like it used to just be restore health and weakness, right? Not like fortify strength and endurance. So there's been some changes for the good. It's mostly like balancing, which is pretty good. Yeah, like the steed puts up athletics and attack. That's really good actually. Fortify attack. 5 points, well the, the warrior does 10 points, plus strength and endurance and attack, so the warrior is going to be the best for my character build, that's the one I want. Interesting. Now there's an item in this room that people keep telling me to take, and I just, I don't know what item it is, and I, I, I'm just going to have a look, jog, goblets, no, I, I can't see it, lads. I guess we're just not going to take it because I can't see it, by now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, for some gold, I'm going to take, I'm not going to take everything, just going to take the stuff that's worth a little bit. Has lockpicking been made harder? I did it on the first try, <laughs> apparently not. I guess I'll take the book. I want to get prepared so that we can at least do the first cave dungeon that's just outside of Sadenine. I want to be able to do that. And we could also try the one that's on the way to Balmora. I want to be able to clear out that one too. I think that'll be a good, a good goal to have. We're just taking a look at this for the time being. I don't know if I'm ever going to do like a playthrough or something with this. We'll see. We'll see how it is. I put the difficulty on max because it's like a hardcore mod. I figured that's like the best thing to do. It was on normal, but I figured putting it on hard was just the right thing to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the axe that's in this stump here. So when we get the axe, we'll see our our first interesting change that this mod has made. You take fall damage in this mod from really small jumps. You usually don't take fall damage from that, but this time we do. First thing we're going to do is fight this mud crab, and I'm walking towards him because people keep telling me to reserve my fatigue, so we're just going to walk slowly everywhere. We're going to fight. Okay, that did a lot of damage. The mud crab just took off like a quarter of my health. All right, that was a mud crab and he took off like half my health. That's great. Um, this isn't gonna go well at all. Gonna do some healing. There we go. Now you might've noticed during the fight that when I swing the ax, it's like a lot slower. There's a lot of lead up into it. I love this change. If you want to play this mod for yourself, I'll leave it down below. I really like these kind of balancing mods. I'm so glad that Morrowind had like a hardcore mod because I love like survival modes and games. I really, really enjoyed the survival mode from like Fallout 4. 
I'm after taking damage just jumping off the pier. Are you for real? I enjoyed Fallout 4, it was a good game, but when I eventually went back to it with the survival mode, I really enjoyed it. I think that's like the best way to play that game. I don't want to get into combat with my fatigue being zero. Are just gonna rest up? The reason I'm here is I want to loot Terahill and get his stuff. Come here, mud crab. I can take you this time. The combat is so slow, it's ridiculous. I am certain we're doing more damage to enemies as like a trade-off. Okay, he just took half my health. Okay, the mud crab. I'm after dying to a mud crab. I'm after dying to a mud crab. Lads are after dying to a mud crab. I don't think I've ever died to a mud crab in this game. That's never happened. We're gonna need to get some gold. And what I want to do is I want to get the stuff from Terra Hill. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sell that stuff. There's like a bunch of quests in Sadenine you could do for gold, but I don't want to be doing quests in Sadenine all day. So we're just gonna get some basic stuff and we're just gonna do a bit, a bit of dungeon diving. There's Terra Hill. My man fallen from the sky. Now if I look at the weapon values, 11, 60, I don't know the weapon values offhand. I know they're changed, but like, I don't remember all their values just off the top of my head. I'll take your stuff, I'll take your hat, because we need some bit of defense. Okay, get me back to Sadenine. We're gonna sell off some of the stuff we have. We're gonna buy maybe some armor with it if we can. The merchantile system has just been revamped, so we're not gonna get as much gold out of it. So that's gonna be its own challenge in itself, which I'm really excited for. Can we hurry this along? Can you help me? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's see how much gold we can get because it's not going to be much. Here's something I didn't know about Morrowind. My fatigue meter is empty right now because I've been running around. I had no idea that fatigue affects barter prices. I had no idea that was a thing. I get loads of comments about that, but I never knew that fatigue affected barter prices. I knew it affected combat, but like bartering? Okay, let's sell off all our stuff and see how much gold we get. Yeah, I, that book is worth 50 and I just got like four gold for it. This book is worth 40. Just got five gold for it. Don't sell your gold. Where's my gold? I, ju I just sold it, but I don't have it again. Where did my gold go? Cancel. Barter? Okay, my gold is back. I, I, I don't know what happened here. Sell all the stuff again. Now, do I want the war axe or the sword? Because I assume the war axe is going to be slower. So maybe the sword is probably the best bet that we use. Okay, all of this stuff for 50 gold. That is not that much at all. I have 186 gold. Can I buy anything with that? That's worth 70. <laughs> 94 gold that's like almost all my budget yeah this mod really is hardcore who would have thought i guess i'll buy some chitin stuff just to balance it out i guess or chitin people have been telling me that's pronounced look it has a ch in it okay oh, i look so stupid my poor girl named lizzie that's one of the best <laughs> i don't say this lightly but i think that's one of the best characters i've ever made in this game what's our armor rating tree our armor rating is tree i haven't even bought any health potions we are so dead it's not even funny i have a small plan what i might do is i might attack the woman in this lighthouse to get her healing potions i could just do the quest like do i want to do the quest fine you know what i need the gold we'll do the quest the quest i'm talking about is about searching the tax man i believe in this area region place thing get up onto shore get up onto shore gold man yourself it's been a long time since i've done a video on like vanilla morrowind i'm out of fatigue and there's enemies nearby yo it oh no 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 Okay, I'm after quick saving when the assassin appeared. I might have just screwed myself. Run, just run, just run. I can't attack him. Oh no, get, 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 get out of the reefs. Get out of those things. Oh, he's running by me. Maybe the guards will attack him. The guards might attack him for me. And maybe I can get his armor that way. And maybe with his armor I can get some gold. Maybe. Look, I'll see. Can he help? Can he help? They're not going to help me. They don't care. <laughs> Okay, I'm dead. Okay, what am I gonna do? I quick saved accidentally. You know what? Just get the gold. Oh, go away, slug. The slug is attacking me. There's no point in trying to fight him. It's not gonna do any good. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Oh, okay. Oh, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Okay. I can just see him in the water behind me. Is it even worth trying to attack him? Let's give it a try. My fatigue is nothing and my health is low. Okay, this is an issue. How am I gonna do it? We have to lose his tail somehow. He's right behind me. I have 200 gold. I guess I could fast travel to Balmora, I suppose. We like can't come back to Sadenine because this assassin is just gonna destroy me. What am I gonna do? This is ridiculous. Wait, is he behind me still? Okay, he's like far away. Oh, there he is. He's following me over the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna complete this quest. We're gonna go inside. We're, we're gonna talk to the fella. Can I talk to you about the dead taxman? Found his body, talked to the fella in here. 
I don't know how to escape this assassin. I thought the guards would like help and attack him, but apparently not. Okay, where's my man? <laughs> I forgot that was there. Murder, I need proof. Oh, do I need to get his tax records? Okay, I'm not doing this quest. I'm just gonna steal all your crap. We're gonna flee to Balmora and I'm just gonna steal a bunch of crap. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go to Balmora. We're gonna get some good gear and we're gonna come back. I am gonna destroy that assassin. If he'll even still be here when I travel away. Look, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him. I'm not gonna let him best me. And you can see the travel prices have increased. So to go to Ganes is like 200 gold. Balmora, it's 61. It's not too bad still, but it's a bit of an increase. Gotta love that fog. Oh, my game crap. My game crashed. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, it's just Morrowind. Bright all day. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal. <laughs> I just take fall damage from like the shortest jumps. We're gonna take all this crap. I could also join the Mages Guild and take their stuff. There's like plenty of ways to make gold in Morrowind, but I like doing it this way because it's just the way I prefer. I don't like going out and doing like the huge gold exploits. I like starting off slow because it's an RPG. You, you kind of build it up. At least that's how I like to play it. I'm not telling people how they should enjoy these games. I'm just saying this is the way I like doing it. Okay, we've got some decent items. I'm just gonna need a bunch of healing. You. I want to join. I like how I said I don't like using too much gold exploits, but I'm just stealing from the Dark Brotherhood just so I can sell their stuff. Listen, I'm a hypocrite, but I'm a I'm a proud hypocrite. My fatigue is empty, so I need to wait. Uh, sell you all the potions I don't need. Don't need four or five willpower. I don't really need... Do I want to keep the magic potions? Uh, I'll sell five. It's 197 gold. How much for the healing potions? If I want five... 200 gold. How much do I have? 400. Okay. I'll buy four more, I guess, because I think I have enough for that. Okay, so we have nine healing potions and I can sell the rest of the random stuff to the pawnbroker that's here. And then maybe with that much gold, I can go back and kill the assassin if I can. This is going to be a nightmare. Let's go to the pawnbroker. I can't even go to like creeper or anything like that if I wanted to. Sell the books, sell the alchemy stuff, sell all the bottles, the candles, whatever. 255 gold, that's not too bad. The merchantile system has been changed, but I think it's kind of fair. I actually kind of like the changes that's been made to it. You know, you're not getting stupid amounts of gold. I just start off. Do I just buy some better armor, I guess? I guess I do, I do, I do. Here's the armor. What I might try and do is buy a shield. Bone mold stuff is going to be way out of my price range. And you don't sell shields. Cool, I'll take a helmet and boots, I guess. What else do I need? What else do I need? Uh, pff, not much. Not much that I can think of anyway. I have an armor rating of five. Can I even take on it, that assassin now? We're going to try. Okay, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. The first challenge and it's a Dark Brotherhood Assassin. If you guys are going to try the hardcore mod, maybe also install the mod that delays the Dark Brotherhood attacks because it's kind of ridiculous that they happen at level 1. They shouldn't. Oh, it's slashing rain. There he is. Okay, come here to me, buddy. Come here, pal. I can take you. I hope. Oh, I killed him in two hits. Okay. He still took a decent chunk of health off me. I mean, to be fair. But yeah, we killed him. Dispose a corpse. Since I have no light armor skill, um, the armor rating for this is zero, so we're better off just selling it. So we do more damage to enemies, but they do damage back to us, so at least I know that's for definite now. You, Barter, I want to sell my assassin stuff. You usually get a lot of gold for the Dark Blood Hood stuff, and I'm only getting 50. Yeah, the, the values have been changed immensely. Probably for the best. Also, his barter gold amount has been increased. I don't need the Clovian fur helmet. You can keep that. You can have the dagger. Great, I made 59 gold off that. He sells iron gauntlets, so I'll buy those. You sell a shield, I'll buy that. 84 gold. Um, I imagine Sujama has just been nerfed, so I'm probably not going to bother with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to equip the iron stuff, equip the shield... Now we're going to equip the sword. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt. We're going to attempt this dungeon that's just outside of town. It's a rainy day. Now this dungeon might be a bit dark, so I'll put up the brightness and post. Oh, I forgot about the fall damage. Let me rest. Don't get attacked by another assassin. Okay, it's just a scrib. Scribs are fine. I just have to remember to manage my fatigue while I'm in here. I'm going to put up the gamma a bit, but putting up the gamma in game doesn't show up in the recording. So I'll just put up the brightness in post editing. Come here, buddy. Or girl. Girl, buddy, person. I'm a girl too. Girl power, I guess. This is the end of this witch. Okay, she's doing good damage to me. Come on, I can get you down. Hey, we killed her. She took off a bunch of my health, but we're killing her. We're making decent enough progress. She has the slave key. My healing spell has also been nerfed. 
but like a huge amount. This mod offers a great amount of challenge. If you ever want to change up Marwan's mechanics, definitely download this mod. Okay, I'm gonna go outside to rest just to get some fatigue and healing up. Resting is still pretty overpowered in this game, but no, I don't think there's enemies up here. They're just slaves here, but I, I, th I think they like being here, so I'm just gonna leave them. Is that the mage? I think that's the mage. Don't hit me. Oh yeah, I knocked him down. Okay, I'm actually not doing too bad. I'm probably gonna jinx myself, but this isn't awful so far. It's a nice balance of challenge, I'll say that. Uh, okay, I think there's just one more person left. We're also gonna see what the loot is like here, see if that's been changed or altered. Okay, you, come to me. You will die. That did... A she did like a stupid amount of damage to me and I did barely any to her. Okay, she's usually not the hardest person in this dungeon, but okay. All right, come to me. Okay, now I'm doing good damage. Oh god, avoid her. Okay, I couldn't move. I was stuck on the rocks. All right, so we can't kill her. It's just difficult. Maybe I can jump around and dodge. Kind of. Marwind isn't a great game for dodging. Hey, we killed her. We're not doing too bad. All things considered, this isn't going horribly. There's a chest here. Steel club. Eh. Moon sugar. Eh. Gold, I'll take it. Now we're gonna try that uh, dungeon that's on the way to Balmora because that's a really difficult dungeon. Yeah, there's not much in the way of loot here. I believe that's been balanced as well. You sometimes get some good drops here, but there's not much here now. Uh, there's some stuff, not a lot, but something. All in all, we're not doing horribly. It is a boost in difficulty, I will say, but we're holding up decently. The thing that does balance it out is we're doing more damage to enemies. You know, it's not like they're damage sponges and we're doing little damage to them. <laughs> yeah, so I have a bit of a story. For this mod, you need like the Morrowind code patch if you want to install this uh, hardcore mod. So I installed the Morrowind code patch and when I did, it like unleashed all these old mods. They like came online for whatever reason. I thought I had them like uninstalled. So like I loaded up Morrowind when I installed the code patch and immediately my game was like in Russian all of a sudden. And it also had like the Starwind menus and <laughs> the splash screen and everything. So installing the Morrowind code patch kind of broke my game a little bit. I thought I had uninstalled all those mods, like got them, got them out of the, the game system, but apparently not. Installing the code patch just kind of enabled them all at once, so I had to completely uninstall Morrowind. I had to completely uninstall Morrowind, get rid of all of the old mod plugins. I still have all my saves because I backed those up, but yeah, they just completely wrecked the game. And even the Quarma guys are doing damage to me. Quama, Quarma, Quama. That's the one. This is the place I was talking about. This could be a challenge. I haven't used any of my healing potions yet, but we don't have that many, to be fair. Our strength is like really high, 360. That's been like boosted by a lot. All right, we're gonna try this place. This will be like the final challenge, I think. We're, we're gonna attempt it. We're gonna see how we do. Let's give it a try. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I, I don't know if we can do this, but we're gonna attempt it. Okay. That was one hit. Oh, uh, of course my healing spells are failing. I did one hit of damage to him. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Are you for real? If I rest until healed, he'll just restore health too, I believe. So, I don't know. And go back outside. Okay. This is kind of like the coward's way of doing things, but hey, it's working. Okay. He's taking me down like two hits. That's ridiculous, man. We also seem to be hitting enemies a lot more often. That's probably been balanced, so we're not like missing 24-7. I like that change. I say as I completely miss, but you know, just Morrowind things. Okay. I don't want to keep running away from him, but like, man, he's doing so much damage. And like, the healing potions are going to be slow to use. So like... Yeah, I could just run away again. Okay, this tactic isn't gonna work for like the enemies further inside. Look, we have to we have to use what we have. All right, we have to use what we have. Oh, he blocked. Oh, and he killed me on one hit. We like successfully blocked an attack, and then immediately he takes me down. Okay, my fatigue is like slightly low, so I imagine plenty of people are gonna complain about that. The Morrowind Iron Chair experts. Uh. 20 gold. I'll take your grease because I don't have any pants on right now, so I'll take them. 
Take the sword, I guess. That's something. Okay, it took me that long to kill one enemy. I'm gonna rest outside. Yeah, this is... We could plateau here. This could be... This could be a tough place to do. The other enemies inside are, like, really difficult. And I don't have, like, a bunch of healing potions, so I can't rely on just spamming. Which is probably for the best. Okay, let's go defeat these fellas. The guy with the dagger is... Feck okay. The guy with the dagger is taking me down. I'm wearing full iron armor. You know? Okay, come on. We can take him. This guy's easy. And he, he's broken, apparently. You okay, buddy? Come on now. Over here. Thank you. If he kills me now, I'll be so upset. Life's end is approaching. Guys, I'm so upset. Okay, come on. Go down. Go down. I'm gonna run and heal. Come on, heal up. My fatigue is low, but we got a success, okay. There, we killed him. Can a depressed person do that, huh? He's dead, he's dead, he's down, he's down. Give me your lockpicks, what a great reward. Okay, we're fully healed now. There's like a guy deeper in this dungeon that's gonna be really difficult to take down. This is just gonna be ridiculous. I remember this person being here too. Come here. I'll see you dead. It's a wood elf with a war axe. Okay, she killed me in one hit. All right, okay. That's fair. No, no, that's fine. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. Don't complain. You installed the mod, Mike. <laughs> they keep getting stuck in their own pathing. The hardcore mod has just made it that much tougher on the NPCs too. Okay, I don't think we can kill this woman. See, the thing is, she's like killing me in one hit. So even if I use like healing potions, it's not going to heal up fast enough. And I don't want to exploit and just immediately dash and get like Daedric weapons straight away because that kind of defeats the purpose of the mod. We have to try. We have to, you know, there has to be some challenge to this. If I use exploits, it just defeats the challenge. Kind of ruins the point. Fetcher. She just called me a fetcher and killed me with a war axe. Okay. All right. You know what? That's fine. That's, that's fine. You should run now. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say I got one hit in, but then she just destroyed me again. Do I want to use my axe? Okay, maybe I have to fight fire with fire. Okay, the axe actually does good damage. Oh, don't don't get stuck on that torch. Okay, she's catching up to me fast. We can do decent damage, but like the second she catches up to us, we're just dead. Like, straight away. Okay, okay, this is just a brick wall. Don't to live. I don't want to admit defeat. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I want to do this. You dead. Okay, knocked her down. Okay, 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 okay. She's dead, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. I was able to knock her down straight away. Okay, this is ridiculous. Here's the thing, there's a guy over there, and he's just gonna be ridiculously hard too. So what I might do is I might defeat these fellas over here first. See if we can do this. Come here, pal. It's another feckin' person with a war axe. Okay, he went down pretty quick. We're doing okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. 28, 28, 28. That does decent damage. But then this has a frost damage of three. I'll take it for now. I might use those like a last resort if I need to. Oh, there's someone chasing after me now. Who's chasing after me? Oh, it's you. I didn't want you to aggro me. Oh, I knocked him down. Get some healing in. Get some healing in. Don't ruin this chance now. Why is the sound effect different? Okay, wrong. Okay, we took him down. I didn't think we were gonna take him down that quick, but we did it. Iron Greaves. I have iron boots anyway, so I don't need to take his. Okay, now we can actually loot this place. We've almost like taken out this whole dungeon in hardcore mode. I'm delighted with that. This is like a proper challenge. I'm enjoying this. It's a really fun way to play the game. Uh, worn chest. I'll take all that stuff. Hopefully like the loot hasn't been changed that much. Give me something good. There's two jammy here. We can check if that like buffs our strength, I guess. Salt rice. More potions in here. Iron pauldron. I'll take that. Grief. Why not? In like vanilla Morrowind, you get like really good stuff from here, but now it just seems not that much. There's good potions, I guess, but nothing too. There's a scroll of unhinging. Telvani. Okay, this is good. That was a good drop. Uh, more stuff here. 
amulets and scrolls of soul trap. I think too the main thing that this hardcore mod has done is that it like limits a lot of the exploits that's been used for like soul trapping and enemy soul values and things like that. I don't do much enchanting in this game so I, I don't know how exactly the systems work. Well I know how it works I just don't know the, the intricacies of it but that has been like vastly overhauled in this mod. Okay we're gonna take out the rest of the people in here. I would like to rest because my fatigue is zero. Please let me rest. Who's nearby? There's no one nearby. Thank you. Die. I'll go here. Hey, now we're destroying the assassins. I'm the assassin now. Uh, whatever. Okay, run back. Do a bit of healing. All right. This mod is fun. I'm really enjoying it. If we can clear out this cave, I'll be so happy with that. There's slaves here, but like I said, they enjoy it here. You know, they're having fun, they're walking around, they're getting exercise, they're having a laugh. You know, if I was to open the gate, they'd probably just stay there. You know, <laughs> Maybe I should have bought some fatigue potions if this was going to be like a huge issue. So we're just going to rest. You know, people have been saying my fatigue is always low. I'm going to make it wait. Look at that fatigue meter go up. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm just going to keep it here. We're just going to keep looking at the... <laughs> I sound so salty. I'm not. I'm taking the piss. Okay, come here to me, pal. Oh, great. Someone new with a war axe. That's great. I enjoy that. I'm, I'm so sick of war axes. Huh. This could be like the challenge of the video. Okay. I barely got a hit in. I didn't even get like a full hit in. Come here to me. Okay. Instantly taking me down. Come here to me, woman. I said, come here to me. If I can knock her down, we knocked her down. I get knocked down. And you stay down again. I'm never gonna keep you down. <laughs> How much damage? 31? Yeah. That's a much better axe. I'm really enjoying this mod. I might play more of it. It's really fun. Take all of that. Take the undies. Take the undisid. Und undices. Undices. I don't know what it's feckin' called. Is there any more enemies here? Okay, there is. <laughs> Just as I say that. Oh, you have a bow. How are bows killing me in one hit? Bows are like weak. Okay, well I need to rest. Go back and rest. I said go back and rest. I need fatigue right now. Let me rest. I need fatigue. Let me rest. Oh, there's, I, I have to go all the way back out here. I might as well just, just wait for my fatigue to go up and look on my phone or something. Or I could just walk around everywhere really slowly. This is fun. How's your day going? How are you getting on? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you having a cup of tea? I hope you are. Tea's great. Are you having a beer? You shouldn't be having a beer. It's a Wednesday. <laughs> okay, your bow is going to be an issue, buddy. Oh, and she's like dodging me. Great. Will she like eventually run out of arrows if I can like dodge them all? <gasps> this could be an issue. This could be an issue. I, I don't know how I did it, but I killed her. Okay, now I need to be careful around here because there could be another enemy coming up on me. Yeah, she had like almost 50 arrows, so I would have been waiting around a while if I wanted her to run out. I'm just going to rest back here. Can I use the bed? Can I use the hammock? It looks cozy. Can't use the hammock. We just have to wait here for our fatigue to go up once again. All right, fatigue is full. That took about four hours. Let's go. Let's continue on. We almost have this place cleared out. We just have a dagger. There is no escape. I shouldn't be underestimating the guys with daggers. I say as I kill him in two hits. He was hearing boss music before I came along. Sujama, I think we've cleared out the whole place. I think we did it. Yeah, I can rest here. That's great. Lads, we did it. Lads and lasses, we cleared out the place. Let's do some lock picking for the fun of it. I just heard footsteps. It could be just a slave having the time of their life. Empty chest, great. Oh, an iron claymore? It doesn't do as much damage as our axe. I don't really use axes that much in Morrowind, besides like the shared axe you get at the beginning, but I'm liking the axe build so far, it's fun. I thought I'd be using swords more, but this is a fun build. Give me all that stuff, give me all this crap. There's like some armor here, but whatever. And yeah, we've gotten some decent loot. Nothing too great. A couple of scrolls, some potions. Can't complain. That's pretty much it for now. Lads, lasses, if you enjoyed this look at Morrowind Hardcore, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe and tell me what you think of the mod. I think it's really fun. If you want to check this out yourself, there'll be links down below. I implore you to check it out. It's really, really fun. It's a great way of changing up the game. I might play more. Who knows? If you enjoyed, lads, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next video.
Cheers for watching. I'm after just taking fall damage.